let's talk a little bit about the classified balance sheet. So you will, um, I have down here question five. You really didn't have a question five on your thing. Um, you will not have a multiple choice that asks you about historical cost principle or any of the monetary um, assumptions or anything like that, or the gap rules or anything like that. You will have some kind of question around the classified balance sheet. And this will be similar to what I did as a sample problem in the class where um, we had like the list of the accounts and it said cash, accounts receivable. And so for cash, you would have to put um, CA for current asset. For accounts receivable, you'd have to put CA for current asset. For accounts payable, you'd have to put L for liability or you'd have to put for, um, uh, you know, if it had revenue and you were only looking at the balance sheet, you would put NA because revenue goes on the income statement. It was, we did a problem kind of like that as a sample problem. So you're either gonna to have to put like the letters or it's gonna be a drop down where you like you will, it'll be a drop down menu and you'll pick current asset for cash or it's gonna be a drag and drop kind of thing where it's gonna have like a box for current assets, a box for liabilities, a box for stockholder equity. And then you're going to like pull cash, you're going to drag it and drop it into the current um, asset box, right? So you're going to get some kind of question about that. So you will not do a classified balance sheet on your exam, but you do need to know where the accounts fall within the classified balance sheet, okay? So you want to make sure that um, on your note cards that you prepare for the exam, because you want to have your note cards prepared, uh, what I have had some people do is that they put the uh, balance sheet the way that you do it in chapter one, right? They just make up numbers and they, they put like a little fake balance sheet or they copy the one from the book or whatever. And then even though it's like chapter one, which is not classified, on the balance sheet next to each one of the accounts, they put the initials. So they may have like a, like if we go back here to, to problem uh, number one, they may have like this regular balance sheet here, which is not classified. But then next to it in the column, they'll put like a CA next to um, what what they are, right? And then buildings would be BPE, okay? So they, they put a little initial next to it, so then they know uh, what where they would go in the classified. So then that way that helps them to be able to answer that question about the classified balance sheet. So you will have... Um, four to six questions on the exam, and they will be based on what we covered here. Um, we've, we've covered it now in the homework, we've covered it in the lecture problem examples, we've covered it um, in the chapter practices, hopefully you've been doing those, and we've covered it in this uh, little review here. So you've had multiple exposures. There's also the Wiley videos as well, which is another way you can get exposed to um, the types of problems that you'll see uh, on the exam.